Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. From what we have here, we can apply the law of indices a raised to power m plus n. The same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. That is, here we have 3 raised to power x times 3 squared equals to 12 on this side. That is, this is the same thing as 3 raised to power x times 3 squared, that's 9, then equals to 12 here. Then you divide both sides by 9, divide here by 9, also divide this side by 9. That is, 9 cancelled each other here. We have 3 raised to power x now equals to 12 over 9 from here. Then we can write this as 3 raised to power x equals to 3 times 4 over 3 times 3. And 3 cancelled each other here. Then we have 3 raised to power x equals to 4 over 3 here. Next step, we take the log on both sides. That is, we have log 3 raised to the power x equals to log 4 over 3 here. Then we apply the power law of logarithm. And when we have log m raised to the power p, which is equals to p log m, then what we have here becomes x log 3 equals to log 4 over 3. That is from here, we divide both sides by log 3. That is divide here by log 3. Also divide this side by log 3. That is log 3 cancel each other here. We have x which is now equals to log 4 over 3 then over log 3 then what we have here follows from where we have log a over b which we can write as log a minus log b that is here we have x equals to log 4 minus log 3 then over log 3 and from here we separate this into two fractions that is x now equals to log 4 over log 3 minus log 3 over log 3 that is from here log 3 cancelled each other we are left with 1 which implies x now equals to log 4 over log 3 minus 1 then in the same way we can write 4 as 2 times 2 which is same thing as 2 squared then here yeah, this becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 3 minus 1 and from the power law of logarithm 2 comes here and we have x now equals to 2 log 2 over log 3 minus 1 and when we apply change of base from where we have log a over log b this is the same thing as log a to base b. That is, here we have x equals to 2 log 2 to base 3 minus 1. So here we have the value of x in this given problem as 2 log 2 base 3 minus 1. Now let's check if this satisfies the given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 minus 1. 
then what we have becomes 3 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 3 minus 1 then we have plus 2 is equal to 12 on this side then from here minus 1 plus 2 that's plus 1 so we have 3 raised to the power 2 log 2 base 3 plus 1 is equal to 12 on this side thank you for watching master t math class then let's separate this from the law of indices a raised to power m plus n the same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n that is here we have 3 raised to power 2 log 2 base 3 times 3 raised to power 1 is equal to 12 on this side then from here we reverse this on power law that is p log m the same thing as log m raised to power p that is here we have 3 raised to power log 2 squared is 3 times 3 raised to power 1 that's 3 is equal to 12 on this side and this is same thing as 3 raised to power log 4 base 3 times 3 is equal to 12 on this side and what we have here follows from when we have a raised to power log b to base a which is equal to b and here this is same thing as 4 times 3 is equal to 12 on this side and 4 times 3 here this is 12 which is equal to 12 from here and therefore left hand side equals to the right hand side hence from here we conclude that x equals to 2 log 2 base 3 minus 1 satisfies the given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more videos turn the notification bell on share this video give it a thumbs up and put your comment see you next class and bye for now